Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today, I'm here with a dream. In this dream, um, a woman was hanging out with a group of two women and two men. She's hungry, but she doesn't want to eat the food that they have. They have some donuts and they have milk, but it's not the kind of milk that she drinks. And it looks as if it's already went bad. The scripture comes from Psalms 108 and 6. Appoint some, no, 109 and 6. Appoint someone evil to oppose my enemy. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him be found guilty. And may his prayers condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder his the fruits of his labor. So here's the message for somebody. There is someone, okay? There is someone, baby. This is I, I just feel like this is another one, okay? Of this, like, this is somebody that wants to get you to a position to where you don't have nothing to eat. They, this is somebody, they want you to go hungry. They want you to have nothing but nasty, old, moldy food to eat. And they want you to be surrounded by people that you don't really know very well, you don't trust very well. They want you to feel as though you are outnumbered. They want you to feel as like, this is, and this is somebody, they doing this on purpose. And I just feel like God is sitting this very strong. God said, let them go, okay? Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go. Now, whoever this is, um, I just feel like this is somebody, this is uh, ex, or this is somebody that you separated from. You miss them, you thinking about them. God said, let them go. They don't mean you no good. They don't mean you no good. They don't, like every, like all around, they don't mean you no good. The, in the first message, this person is trying to set this person up because they feel disrespected. In the second message, this person is not only trying to set this person up, but also trying to surround this person. In this message, like, I just feel like this person has made plan after plan after plan. Like, well, if they do this, then we can do this. And if they do that, then I can do that. And then, like, this is somebody that has had a lot of time to sit out and plan and plot against you they have had a lot of time to think of how they are going to condemn you they have had a lot of time and this person is basically saying if they can't get nobody to come against you and destroy you the first way you know and it could even be a situation where at first they're going to try to take away everything that you have then they're going to try to get people to uh, corner you in so you have no choice but to deal with what so this could be a situation where you have no choice but to be there with them or you have no nowhere to go you have nowhere to run to you have nobody to help you and then they are going to put you in a position to where you have nothing to eat nothing to sustain you nothing to keep you going so this could be literally by food it could also be by somebody trying to keep you from having a job this could be somebody trying to keep you from being able to get away uh to go to work or to make money to earn money the way that you do um i just feel like this is somebody that they are really sitting around like this is somebody that is thinking long and hard of how they are going to destroy you they are thinking long and hard about this is somebody they tried, but they failed and they mad that they failed. This, this is somebody they angry. They can't stand the fact that they did not destroy you the way they thought they did. They thought they destroyed you, but they didn't. They thought they had finished you and that you was done for, but you weren't done for. And they thought that they had, they had this and they did that and they did this and they did that. But no, they didn't. They failed. But God said, now they sitting around. They trying to figure out a way. Because they can't have this here. They got to figure out a way to try to put an end to your, your winning streak. I feel like somebody, you had a winning streak. Like, as soon as you got away from this person. Winning streak. Win after win after win after win after win. Like, I feel like God made it obvious to you and is making it obvious to you. He don't want you with them. So he gave, he's giving you winning streets so that you can see 
when you was with them, all you had was lo loses, losses, confirmation. You being away from them, all you getting is win after win after win after win. God said, open your eyes so you can see. Open your eyes so you can realize what he's showing you. Like, and I feel like I have received so many messages about this because it's for somebody. Open your eyes so you can see what God is showing you. Open your ears so you can hear this message. This is very serious for somebody. For somebody, it's very serious. And the reason it's so serious, you know, even anybody can come up with a plan. And this is somebody that has had a lot of time. I feel like y'all been away from each other for a long time. And the entire time y'all been away from each other. This person has sat up with a notebook planning everything they going to do to attack you. That's legit. Like, I just feel like it's somebody that's like, like the Grinch in his lair. Just sitting down with the planner. And this is everything that they are going to do. They have reconstructed their plan. Because the first plan didn't work. They thought it was going to work, but it didn't work. And now they're like, okay, I got to redo everything. And they are sitting down, redoing everything. Like, <laughs> and for whoever you are... You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know that there are some people in this world that are just like, you know what? I'm so cocky. I think I might as well just take the time just to see if I can beat them again. Okay. Look, Bugs Bunny. God said, leave them alone. Okay. <laughs> leave them be. <laughs> you just got to flex up. Huh? You just got to jump in your fight so you can sit there eating your carrot laughing at them. You, like, leave them alone. Leave them alone. And let them sit there and scratch their head, okay? Baby, I just feel like you being away from this person, you are moving forward. Basically, you going over there to mess with them just because, just to see if you can get them again, just to get them again, just so you can laugh again. Baby, that is just like if Bugs is in a... a um a race and he decides to st stand over to the side like when he's walking behind the the man back and the man's trying to capture him and he's walking behind him and he's like you know the man turned his head and he turned his head and he's smiling that's what you're doing you have a race to run come on now stop playing around like <laughs> Whoever that for you are a jokester, baby. You are a jokester. You are a jokester. God said to God, you stop it, okay? And, and 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 leave this person alone. This person, and that's pos that's possibly why this person is so determined to get you because they sick and tired of you playing with them, like. <laughs> And it could, like, it could le legit, this could be a situation where God was using you to mess with them. Because they think they bigger than God. They thought they were bigger than God. They thought they was able, they could overdo, and they could overturn, and they could destroy anybody, and they could capture anybody, and they can do this, and they can do that, and they can do all these things. And God showed them one time, and he may have showed them twice, and he may have showed them three times. But God said, that's not enough is enough now. God said enough is enough. He already showed them his might. He already showed them his strength. He already showed them what he can do. At this point in time, they are just digging. They, they, uh, you know, the last message where it said D-Day, they calculating what show date is going to be, but they really are calculating their own date. It's just like the first message for today. There's somebody that uh, trying to come against you. They are dimming their own light. In reality, this person is sitting around stagnant in their own life because they are trying to plan your downfall. And the more that you ignore them, the more that they try to redo this plan. And the more they carry on planning and planning and planning. And as you carry on moving forward, it's like you all the way down there now. So their plan is... And where they the plan that they made, they thought you was gonna be back here with them, but you all the way up there now. So now they gotta ball that up, throw it in the trash, and they gotta start over. And by the time they finish that plan, they thought you were just a few steps ahead of them. Now they see you a few miles ahead of them, and the, and now they gotta ball that up and they gotta start over. God say this person is doing nothing but dimming their own light. Leave them to it. They destroying themselves. 
There's no need for you to do anything. You just, like, I just feel like for whoever this is for, you carrying on doing whatever it is you're doing, going to work every day, looking beautiful every day, looking cute every day, and just doing your thing and living your life is enough to make this person have flames coming off the top of their head because they really thought they was going to destroy you. And this may be somebody that went around bragging, talking about how they was going to do this, and they was going to do that, and they was going to do these, and they was going to do that, and they had all the things they was going to do. Baby, go out shut all that down. They mad because they look silly. They look like a fool going around talking about what they was going to do to you, a child of God. They didn't do nothing to them. And that's the reason that God used you to show them time and time again, oh, you're going to do what? What you said you was going to do? What you said you was going to do? But God said at this time, he said, leave them to it. They are in a state where they are destroying themselves. You ain't even got to do nothing. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.